Finally, we've got some options when it comes to storage. Now, we did report on this a few months ago, a month or so ago, actually, that Western Digital was going to jump into the expansion card game. And back then I said, the thing, I think Xbox messed up here because they created this proprietary memory card for their NVMe uh, hard drive expansion. And PlayStation enabled you to just swap out any ones. Like, there was not a proprietary thing, so you could just go on Amazon, you can buy whatever you want to buy, uh, you know, of these NVMe hard drives, or memory expansions, rather. And as a result, PlayStation has more options, they're cheaper, you can expand. Um, but, good news, we're finally getting them. It looks like they've arrived. Western Digital has jumped into the game previous, previous to this. We've just had Seagate. I've not yet purchased it myself, uh, any expansion, because the price is just too high. These prices, much more reasonable. I'm undecided whether or not I'll jump in. So you got 500 gigs now at $79.99. Remember, previous to this, the cheapest you could get it for was $179, $199 for an expansion from Seagate. Now we're getting some more options. 500 gigabytes at $79.99. I don't. I still don't know if that that's worth it. Honestly, I feel like, I feel like for 500 gigs I'd pay 49. Now I know the technology involved. I know it's super fast, but at this point I've done without it. That I can wait for another price drop. However, if you're in desperate need of some memory, this is not a bad price at all. Much better, much much better option than what previously existed. And you get the one terabyte for 149. Now, comparatively on the PlayStation, you can get a one terabyte because you have all these options for around 119. So it's still pricier, but it's way better than previous options of 179 or 199. Even um, out of control in my mind, those prices. I, I would be curious on the numbers, the amount of solid, or not solid state drives, but NVMe hard drives that they've actually sold compared to how many Xboxes are out there and then compared to previous external storage. But this is a move in the right direction. Well done, Western Digital. Well done, Xbox. I'd love to see more of these options come out. I'd love to see uh, more options for us gamers. The way that I use it right now is I just have a hard drive that, an external hard drive, that I move games to because the read write speed is super fast, takes a few minutes, you only gotta download it once, then when I want them on that speedy, speedy NVMe hard drive internal, I just move them back over. And, I, and I'm constantly swapping, it takes five minutes, maybe 10 minutes if, if you know it's a super huge game, but it's very, very fast. I would say it actually almost never takes 10 minutes. Um, but yeah, super, super fast, that's how I've done it so far, regardless. This expansion card is here. This is a good sign. I'd love to see more of these. I'd love to see more options. I'd love to see that price for this one terabyte be more competitive with the PlayStation options that you have right now, right around that 119, 120 mark. Regardless, this is fabulous. I'd love to know, are you gonna jump in? I'm sure where more, most people will jump in is right here in this 500 gigabyte slot. Just having that extra 500 gigs is actually quite a lot and probably makes all the difference for some people, but I'd love to know what you're planning on doing. You plan on jumping into this expansion slot game? Let me know in the comments below. Hit that like button. Subscribe to this channel. My name is X1 The Gamer. We do Xbox videos all the time right here. I'm traveling at the moment. We'll be back. Actually, I'll be traveling for a while. But we're, we're still bringing it. We're bringing the heat, baby. <laughs> Have a great day. We'll see you next time.